you know that there are many traits a narcissist has, okay? So first of all, I'm going to define narcissism, and then I'm going to take you from that definition into how all of this stuff dealing with the narcissistic personality disorder is looking a lot like the modern day church, okay? So follow me, because we're going to go down this journey so that people can really see what is happening with some of these leaders, because there have been those who have reached out to me and said, well, what about, what about these narcissistic ministers and these other leaders out here, okay? There's a particular audio that I did some years ago, and I get into a time where I was praying and I asked the Lord about a particular personality that I was dealing with, and I didn't have a clue what this personality was. And then lo and behold, as I do some research, I found this personality disorder, which was called, and is still called, a uh, narcissistic personality disorder, also known as NPD, okay? And there's different types of personality disorders. Now, my information is based on the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, that's the DSM of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, okay? And this particular manual is used uh, among mental health professionals to diagnose a disorder. So when they're trying to figure out what you are, right, they're going to consult with this manual. So narcissistic personality disorder shows up in the manual and some of the things that people deal with uh, have a lot to do with uh, not just the narcissistic personality disorder, but many, many. Sometimes it's a combination of that disorder and something else, okay? And then sometimes you get people who aren't very knowledgeable and they're going to take the wrong disorder and put it on someone. Meanwhile, they totally miss another personality disorder. Now, most men are, who, who have this narcissistic personality disorder fall in about 6.2% 6 based on the research that I've uncovered, okay? So there's not a lot, even though you see a whole slew of YouTube videos. There really isn't a whole lot of folks, but they do have a lot of the traits that the narcissists have, okay? Um... Some of the other personality disorders that we got into in the leadership series was the borderline personality one. Um, there was also um, bipolar, a number of them, okay? And you can see some of the character traits within those disorders as well, okay? Now, the narcissistic personality disorder behavior Okay, in order for you to determine what it is, you've got to see that the person is self-centered. Okay, everything is about self. We're not talking about every now and again being selfish because that doesn't make you a narcissist. If every now and again you're just looking out for yourself, but this, but the the narcissist he is very self-centered. Everything revolves around him, even though he's in denial and he'll say, "Oh no, I'm looking out for everybody else." No. He's always first in everything that he does. He is not the empathetic type at all. And it's interesting because narcissists don't get along with other narcissists, right? Because if I'm self-centered and you're self-centered and I lack empathy and you lack empathy, no, we're not going to get along because you want me, if you're a narcissist, to glorify you. And then if I'm a narcissist, I want you to glorify me. So, of course, there's going to be a bumping of heads. So